focusing on what uh, uh, you know what the macros look like as well as how the investment cycle is shaping up let's get in a sense uh, from Abhijit Sen he's the member of the planning commission who's joining in right now Abhijit thanks very much for joining in uh, let's start off first you know what do you think whether this is an investment slowdown led because of high inflation rate as well as changing interest rates or because we're actually in a slowdown in terms of demand constraints that we are facing as well as the overall consumption story which is getting over well it's clearly something which is obviously investment led and it's been coming for some time we've been seeing signs of it it's somewhat larger than we expected and the full data isn't yet before me and I'm probably not the person, best person to know. My suspicion is that a lot of this is probably related to one of two things. One is trade expectations and the other is <coughs> expectations regarding public expenditure. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Sen, if the investment is slowed down because of margin contraction, then should the government tighten FISC and RBI soften rates instead? See, I can't speak for the RBI. As of now, I think what we are really looking for, at least as far as the corporate side is concerned, uh, a certain, I mean, I think what they're expecting is something stabilizes. It's partly abroad, and it's partly to do with uh, expectations from the government, including RBI. I don't think there's any particular reason to get uh, too depressed about this. It's uh, something which, unless I think you're terribly wrong, I think the sort of numbers that you're seeing, about 30% on the investment side, they're lower than we've gotten used to. But if we accept that they are, these, for the conditions we are in, are pretty good, I think by the end of the year, you'll see this climbing back by about one to maybe the two percentage points of GDP. So taking from that point, you know, if consumption decline and declining rural wages are the problem here, should the government forget about fiscal prudence and start, you know, to invest more in stimulating demand? See, I'm not entirely sure that, you know, it is uh, primarily led on the consumption side. Yes, there is a certain degree of pressure from the inflation side, but uh, there's no reason to believe that uh, inflation, that the inflation that we saw in April is going to last out. That was had to do with very special circumstances, mainly in vegetables. So in your assessment, have we seen the worst in terms of the growth numbers? I mean, GDP growth of 5.3, almost a decade since we've seen these kind of numbers. You see, we, I, I think so. On the other hand, let me not be too strong about it, simply because I think there's been, uh, at some point, there's been you know, too much optimism in government and the things going wrong. I really think that these numbers are probably at the low end of the thing and we should be rebounding out of it next quarter or so. In light of what we clocked in for quarter four, as we move into F5.13, is it even remotely possible that growth could slip below 5% in any quarter? I would say unlikely. I would say that, I mean, it would all, a lot of this will depend upon the industrial figures. I would also say that the investors' confidence in this is, uh, would suggest that, you know, we have actually uh, reached the bottom, so that we should be coming out of it. Mm. Lastly, Mr. Sen, uh, you know, before we let you go, uh, your comments on uh, diesel as well as LPG prices, I mean, 
what do you think is going to happen there? Is there a possibility of freeing it up a bit and then, uh, you know, taking a few hikes here and there? Well, I think it's a time that something is done about it. On the other hand, the whole petrol episode has to, and the whole petrol hike thing has to first be absorbed both by the consumers as well as its impact, I mean, in terms of uh, what government assesses where this thing should stop. And I think that's just after that, you should expect something on the diesel side. All right. Uh, Mr. Abhijit Sain there in a conversation uh, on what's happened as far as the GDP numbers uh, are concerned. Do you have the NDTV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at ndtvprofit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.